I forgot to tell you about my shirt. Wipe it down. Wait. Wait. I think there is some kind of emergency happening right now at the Harrison. You park. Oh, I spoiled it. Make sure you do your studies. If you want to spend a dozen bucks to get a plant, you can do that here. I think you, again, tapped it obvious. And boom, you're in somewhere in the Costco parking lot. For a while, Editor Me said something about my brain while Editor Me was in the lot. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Pack Valham and I Bluffed a Lie, Season 3, Episode. Uh, four. Whatever it is. Part two. Going back to the roof because previously had an incorrect prediction and editor we already had the text on the screen and it's red. So out here but it's not raining. Was this where I was sitting the other day? Oh uh, there's some chairs over here. Oh the screen so I don't know how good you can see me. If you can't see the spinner well enough you'll just have to take my word for it. Whatever it lands on. This is berry blue or toothpaste and I see one right here. Strawberry blend, a smoothie, or dead fish, and I see one right here. I also see another one, maybe another one, but I'll eat this one. A little bit windy out here. Mm. It's sweet. No fruity. Certainly not fishy, so. You know what? I'm gonna do the strawberry banana smoothie. Now. So I'm, I'm as high as I can go. Next, I'm gonna go as low as I can go in the basement, in the exercise room. But not record with my computer. I record with this, my Sony Bloggy Touch. I forgot to tell you about my shirt. So, uh, first time I came up here, it was during the eclipse. And so I got this shirt, 8654824, so that's the 8th of April. Yeah. Here's the back of it. See, sun there, 2024, total solar eclipse. I don't know if you saw this front little like, logo or whatever. There.
go. What do we do? I bet you what I'm supposed to do. Dang it! That was it! Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, so yeah, as you can see there, I am actually going. I'm not just standing here. I'm actually going. Anyway, um, uh, I'm going to. I just guess that this spiny shell bit is incorrect. to complete the mile before I left here. All right, next thing to do before I got to go after get my phone. And before I leave here, sanitize, disinfect, and wipe it down. the trademark because so many people have, uh, use it as a general term. Port Republic Road. You know, it's, it's very busy right now. It's been, you know, busier the past few days. Even busier than it was like for the past couple of months because JMU semester starts this week. First day of classes is Wednesday, and right now I'm recording on Monday. Yeah, okay. Where am I going? Well, I mean, I've already missed the place before. that corner over there. Or at least somewhere over there and then maybe a crossover somewhere. So I'm going to go through the Harrison. The Harrison has sand, volleyball, and non-sand basketball. Actually, I'm not sure if I've ever seen any basketball courts made out of sand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I know why. You know, bouncing a basketball, that's called dribbling. You need a hard surface, a solid surface, so that the basketball can bounce on it. Also, the basketball needs to be inflated so that it can bounce instead of just go kerplunk. But on sand, 
the sand will absorb the impact and the basketball would not bounce up even if it's inflated to where it needs to be. So for that reason I believe that a sand basketball court would be impractical, would not work. I think there is some kind of emergency happening right now at the Harrison. I just saw one emergency vehicle turn into one of the, a lane up ahead. Eh, I don't know. Now I hear the smoke alarm in that building, but I don't see any smoke. But that does not necessarily mean that there's no fire. Maybe there's a fire in there somewhere, but the smoke has not reached where I am. All right, over there is University Park, AKA U Park. Part of the James Madison University Parks and Recreation Department, which also includes some trails, public trails, while there's daylight out there open, that go around the park and through the Arboretum, which is where I'm going. Oh, I spoiled it. I'm kidding, you'll find out soon enough. Anyway, you would have found out soon enough. And the trails also go on campus beside Convo, short for Convocation Center, and also around uh, UREC, which is one of the places I intend to go to because there are some places where I can sit down and do I have to lie when I really should be doing some studying, but instead I said I want to do something. No, I'm kidding. If there is an urgent assignment that I really need to get done, I will prioritize that over I bluffed away. While I believe I'll have enough free time is when I can record for I bluffed away. There we go. But I'll try to get this episode done before the semester ends. We'll see. There's 865 East. That is where I walked from. JMU Trail Loops. I'm not going to tell you any more information about it, but you can do a web search for JMU Trail Loops if you want to know more information about it. U Park Disc Golf Course is over there somewhere. And one of the trail loops zigzags in the, the disc golf course. Oh yeah, look at that. There's, well I mean it's not really a hole, but what do you call it? it I mean it's equivalent to a hole in like, golf and mini golf. And there's 4B. I guess all the numbers have like different difficulties you could aim for. We're going uphill. I have the high ground now. Well, it's all downhill from here. Thank you. I'm here all week. But I'm going back home on Saturday. Tip your waitresses, try the veal. Make sure you do your studies.
There is University Boulevard. Which has the main entrance says, to the Arboretum. So, I don't know if you can see any vehicles there. Let's zoom in. So, the parking lot there. I mean, there's a gate over there. And just over there is... The Francis Plecker Education Center. I am at the Edith J. Carrier Arboretum. Francis Plecker Education Welcome Center. Okay. So, here you are. Okay. Oh, there is a water feature up there that I want to show you. And there's the ramp. And some water fountains over there, but anyway. Yeah. Sometimes they sell plants here. Okay, these plants, $12. If you want to spend a dozen bucks to get a plant, you can do that here. Though there might be other plants with different prices. Let's go back down. I'll go back down the stairs and there's a couple of paths here, but I'll just go in the path that's directly in front of the stairs. Oh, there's a water feature I want to show you down here. So while the sun's out, the Arboretum is open to the public so anybody can walk in here. Could be any of the main entrances or maybe one of the back ways like I came in. The pond. Sometimes you can see ducks and turtles here and fish if you look in the water. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Well, actually, maybe you can't see any animals here if you're not here and not watching this video or any other video that was recorded here. Thank you again, Captain Obvious. Oh, there's a turtle. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see it. Can you see it, turtle? Yeah, there it is. You can see it. Alrighty. There's a specific spot I want to sit at. A couple of ways to get there. I could go across this bridge and go to the right, or I could go here and go across the bridge. I'll just go this way. So that's where I came from. Over here, across this bridge, there, there are a lot of paths that 
go to different spots in the Arboretum. Ar uh, ar Arboretum. Okay, sometimes I just call this the Arbor. You know what, maybe I'll just do that. If I remember from now on in the rest of this video, maybe I'll just call this place the Arbor. Wood chips here. There are multiple you know, wood chip paths over there. And actually somewhere over there you can actually directly reach the Costco parking lot. So like a little path off to the side to go there. It's a short little path and boom you're in somewhere in the Costco parking lot. And here this area in the Arboretum is the at home in the woods family garden. Over there is the pavilion, that's where I'm going. I will give you a quick tour of this after I make a prediction before I leave the arbor. Sometimes this pavilion is reserved for events, but it's not reserved now, so I believe I have permission to be here. However, if soon there comes a group that has reserved this pavilion, then I'll leave. By the way, there's no Wi-Fi here. Go, 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 go! So... That's a little bright. I think a bright idea is to uh, decrease the brightness there. Oh, I think I need to... I guess do that. I... What the dump do I do here? Go get the shelmet first. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay, just go in. Ah! Hiya! Hiya! Well, you do need the shelmet, which means that, but prediction was incorrect, so wherever that was, I think it was the exercise room, but wherever it was, I'll have to go back there at some point and eat the beans. No! <sighs> Looks like you need a pea switch. Is, am I... Has anybody seen a pea laying around here? What the? I know there's that. Something's missing. Go back towards the pipe. Oh, the wind. Did you see my screen go black? It's still recording, it's still recording, but I saw my screen go black. Did you see my screen go black?
my first CS professor at JMU is named Stewart, but it's not Patrick Stewart. His name is Michael Stewart. But there's a thwomp there! I don't understand. Sometimes there's a thwomp, sometimes there's a not a thwomp. Or not a thwomp. Whatever. Muncher? Chat, my brain is broke. A muncher. Yeah, Dave, I know your brain is broke. Sometimes my brain is broke, too. Wait, I said something about my brain in the previous video. While I was in the lobby. Or while Editor Me said something about my brain while Editor Me was in the lobby. Recorded. Editor Me said something about brain in the previous video while, my while Recorded Me was in the lobby. I don't know. Sure. I don't know what's I'm happening so sorry either. I called that a thwomp. <laughs> My brain is in shutdown mode. You can't get the lower flower, I don't think. Oh, you can. What the dump? You can. Oh. Okay, here is my new arboretum prediction. My. Well, I mean, only one arboretum prediction. So, as we can see, babe, it is possible to get that bottom flower where it's not bait, so I know that's an incorrect prediction, which I'll take care of at some point. But now, I'm guessing that this getting the upper flower and the stake block is actually incorrect. Like, something to do with the stake block prevents you, blocks you from going forward. <laughs> yeah. So... So now I'm predicting you actually are supposed to get the bottom fire flower and not go in the snake block. Next time I go over there and show you around the family garden. Some neat things over there. Nature is not a place to visit. It's home. Gary Snyder. Okay, can you see the top of that? This part there? It says something. Can you read it? Okay, it says... Grow. Rockin' Root Soil Builders! Okay, there's a sand pit over there. Well, the sign over there is Twig Dick. Texture walk. Spider web. Lizard Ledge. Skunk Den. Eastern Tauhi Nest. Make your mark.
wel hier hem eibel af doen. Soundscapes station. Roughly some kind of pentatonic scale. I guess that is A minor pentatonic. Oh, yeah, I like this circle over here. It has different textures on it. Mosaics and stuff. Uh, restrooms and water fountains on the back of the pavilion. There's another no water fountain over there. Okay. is okay. Tree life cycle. And this looks like number six in the life cycle. Bramble will scramble. There is a story trail. You can see there's a sign there that's to cover, or just I don't know, like inside the book. And then there's another sign there for the next page in the story. You can go along that path, read the story. So um, I've seen three different stories here. Like I don't know how often they change the story, but I've seen three different stories here. Uh, the story they have there now, that's... I've already read it. It's the third of the three. And I guess that is all there is to see in the family garden. And that's everything significant that in the Arboretum that I want to share with you. Crazy, 
but how just how crazy this episode is going to be? Well, you just have to stay tuned to find out. Okay, if you're a smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. And you'll see me next time. Until then, take care.